like to introduce uh, um, Matt Stagg of DE, Head of Strategy of DE, to talk uh, about one of the trials that we did uh, recently and that we announced yesterday. Matt? Thank you. Hello, thanks for, um, for, for coming here and, and thanks for inviting me. Um, you may think uh, that um, uh, an encoding software company and a mobile operator seem sort of unlikely bedfellows, if you like. Um, it's actually uh, an interesting story about how we came about to have the engagement in the first place. And that was, um, uh, I'm actually on the, the judging panel for TV Connect. And I was, um, I was looking through and reading all of, the, um, all of the information there because, you know, a lot of it was, was TV stuff that we're not really in. And I saw this, uh, and it was fantastic, and I understood it. I had to do a bit of research around Codex, but we did a, did a bit. And, um, and said, right, okay, this is really interesting. So we're always looking to um, optimize the experience for our customers on our, um, on our 4G network. And we've already predicted that 75% of our network will be video by 2019, which is slightly above what people like Cisco and Ericsson. But we have a lot of very good free-to-air content in the UK. So um, I contacted Binova and said, well, this is fantastic. You, know, you can stream all of this traffic at, um, at high definition, ultra high definition. At, at, you know, almost, we thought, at, at, um, well, it was an unbelievable uh, low bit rate. And it was kind of, well, we've got to see this for a start. What a fantastic way to um, enhance the network, get the most out of it, and give our customers a better experience whilst saving money. You can't, you can't get better than that. That's, um, so uh, we sat down, we looked at what we could do. Um, we wanted to do a trial. We wanted to see how this worked on the mobile network in areas where we don't potentially have challenges. And so we'll, we'll, um, we'll have a look and it'll explain more in the video. But um, lead us to say, we're all really excited about this partnership. There's lots of things in the future that we want to do. Uh, things around edge computing, uh, looking at how um, Persis software can help us there, LTE broadcast, uh, and yeah, I, I'm looking forward personally to a, um, a really fruitful relationship. Um, and now we'll show um, the, uh, the demo we did. Unfortunately, you've still got to see me, but never mind. <laughs> We're here today to do a trial that's going to show exactly what we can achieve when you combine EE's advanced 4G network with VNOVA's personal software. What we're seeing over here is 4K ultra-high definition content being streamed over a 4G network using Perseus technology. That's being delivered at 6 megabits per second whilst maintaining ultra-high quality. And also we're streaming at 50 frames per second, which is ideal for sports and fast moving entertainment. And I think you can see, it looks fantastic. Versus is a game changing encoding software that allows mobile operators to unlock their networks. It's a big challenge actually, because network capacity is finite, even for the UK's leading mobile operator EE. Versus is a different way to encode the signals into numbers and uh, by means of using different mathematics that leverage massive parallelism and hierarchical features, Versus allows more continuity of viewing, better compression and much faster processing. Using Perseus, you're putting a software upgrade, we call it turbocharging, on top of the existing infrastructure, using the existing workflows, everything that's already there, to give you far more capacity than you would have otherwise had. And this brings us to the relationship between Vino and E, where what we're really doing together is bringing intelligence to bandwidth. Whilst having over 92% population coverage on 4G, there are still areas where we see challenges, such as dense server environments, really rural areas, and also on high-speed transport. With Perseus, mobile users can finally get high-quality experiences in the most challenging conditions. Even in a dense urban environment, we can still stream ultra-high-definition 4K content over a mobile network when we combine these technologies. When I'm leaving central London and heading off down the M3 towards the New Forest, been watching this full HD video the entire journey from central London to here. 
uh, using motorways and country lanes. And we've seen no interruption in service. We've seen no stalling, no reduction in quality. And it's just been a fantastic experience the whole way. Just to show the resiliency of this technology, you can see we're now streaming high definition video at 300 kilobits per second. That's not seen before, and it's still a fantastic experience on a smartphone. Okay, so for the final part of our demonstration, we're here in the middle of the new forest, lovely environment, but not typically one way we expect people to be able to stream live video. Thanks to the Perseus software and the EE's network, we're here streaming high definition sports content without any buffering or loss of quality. And that really goes to show just how advanced the codec is. So what this demonstration has shown us is that EE's network combined with Perseus software can really bring streaming video to the masses. We really can have our consumers watch whatever they want, whenever they want to, wherever they are. Thank you for rising up to the challenge to show UHD video and audio on this projector <laughs> system. So apologies for that. We'll make the video publicly available if you want to watch it on a larger screen. So how do we get to you know to launching a technology or from launching a technology to doing a trial with the you know uh, across uh, you know multiple areas and different environments in the UK? And uh, this is what we would like to tell you today as well as to tell you what's next. And in order to do that, I would like to wel welcome uh, Guido Meardi, who's uh, CEO and co-founder of uh, Vinova, and Eric Achtman, who's uh, executive chairman and co-founder of the company. EE -E, uh, is an example how in five short months from NAB, we've gone from being an industry novelty to a commercial reality. When we first met together in April, just a little while ago, we told you about Perseus, which is a game-changing, paradigm-shifting software upgrade of the existing ecosystem and infrastructure that would allow UHD over HD infrastructure, HD over SD, and SD over sub-audio networks. We told you about our technology and the products which we introduced, including the end-to-end, glass-to-glass, live 4K solution, which was shown at Hitachi. We told you about our 20 global partners with whom we worked as we developed this over five years in stealth mode. And we told you about our commercial entrance with a kickoff customer, Sky Italia at the time, into broadcasting. We told you about a number of plans that we had, and at the same time, you gave us some homework. You had some questions. And so here to tell you where we've come in these five months is Guido, and to answer some of those questions. Yep. Thank you. And in April, yes, you, we told you our plans and, uh, and some of you really gave us homework in particular about validation. And so let's see how far we've come. We told you, first of all, that there would be commercial traction. And actually, we have shown and we are showing and will be showing more and more tier one engagements, actual tier one engagements. We told you that we would grow and continue growing our consortium uh, of global partners, and we've done it. Actually, 15 uh, new partners on top of the existing 20 in just five months. It's a lot of handshaking. <laughs> we've told you, we told you that we would continue growing our team, and we've done it. Uh, and as for validation, uh, we also started a number of validation exercises uh, with very prestigious third parties. For instance, uh, IRT, as you might have seen, confirmed uh, the substantial benefits uh, of Perseus uh, in contribution. And more of this will be available going forward. And as you can imagine, our 35 plus partners have all tested Perseus. We also um, told you at that time that Perseus was applicable to many, many industries, 
from broadcasting to medical imaging to aerospace to security to video conferencing. And to make good on the promise of entering these industries, we entered aerospace, one of the most challenging mission critical industries, where some of you may have read the releases made by Airbus, the leading global manufacturer or aerospace, aerospace company, where we were prominently featured at the Paris Air Show on center stage, showing our technology uh, to the world. And the Paris Air Show, of course, is the largest trade show uh, in the world. Um, we also played a critical role in the telemetry of EFAN, which was the first crossing of the English Channel by an all-electric aircraft. And so, in fact, together with Airbus, a record was set and a historic moment was, was laid. And this was all done in five months. Yeah. And so now let's get to the news of today, so the exciting new announcements uh, for today. So I'm particularly excited because customers, uh, as demonstrated by Sky, are asking for Perseus. And vendors and integration reacted in record times. Um, in addition uh, to the very recent uh, releases and news uh, from uh, Alcatel Lucent, Velen and Noten, um, and NTT Data, we are very thrilled and, uh, and delighted to announce today two new tier one partnerships. And in particular, Imagine Communications uh, and Thomson Video Networks. With Imagine Communications, we are extremely ex excited to work with a partner that uh, deployed over 3 million products uh, in 85 countries, with exceptional breadth. And uh, we are integrating Perseus capabilities uh, on top of their Xenium platforms which provides Perseus uh, with a software-based platform uh, with offline transcoding, live encoding, and playout capabilities uh, in IP workflows. And then we have Thomson Video Networks, where we are excited to be working with one of the top three compression mm -hmm. vendors globally, and honored to work with them, because in the context of a game-changing customer <coughs> deployment, uh, we are adding Perseus functionalities to their VS7000 platform, one of the top compression platforms for head-ends uh, in DTH, IPTV, DTT, cable. And also, aside from adding the possibility to support the customer deployments uh, in that context, uh, this also demonstrates uh, the capability of Perseus to coexist with existing standards such as ADC and HEVC. What's the significance of what Guido has just said? Well, let's look at the TV and media delivery chain. At NAB, we showed you contribution. We showed you transport. And we showed you mobile and fixed distribution all with leading global partners. And you posed a question to us and you said, but hang on a second, who's going to do the encoding? And so with this announcement, we have put the last piece in the puzzle. And the significance of this announcement is that the entire TV and media delivery chain is now, and the reason is simple. For starters, Perseus works on standard and commercial off-the-shelf hardware, which means you can use the equipment you have today. It doesn't require a hardware upgrade, which, when you have a very large installed base, can be difficult or sometimes <coughs> impossible to do. Perseus uses the existing workflows. Perseus leverages the existing standards for packaging, transport, CA, DRM, and megadata. It's plug and play. It's a turbo on the existing engine. And most importantly, with <coughs> regard to the legacy codex, Perseus is interoperable from glass to glass. Yep, and uh, 
I would say that this is a good HD rendition, but let's notch it up to Ultra HD and go to a higher level of detail on what it means in terms of commercial solutions that are on show today at IBC. First of all, for contribution, very practically, Persis adoption means a new benchmark uh, for visually lossless, uh, low latency contribution and production at 300 megabits per second. It also means uh, the possibility to stream uh, HD contribution low latency over unmanaged IP networks <coughs> on show today. It also means the possibility to achieve uh, cost-effective remote production more than quadrupling the amount of data, the amount of streams uh, that we can fit in the same uh, infrastructure, in the same transmission networks. For distribution, it means uh, the commercial possibility to distribute Ultra HD. With Ultra HD over existing HD and 4G networks, we've seen with EE, football, high frame rate Ultra HD at 6 megabits. It also means the possibility to stream and uh, distribute and deliver high quality, low bandwidth, HD and Ultra HD services over existing set of boxes. So existing devices. Again on show today. It also allows efficient and effective uh, cloud PVR, multi-screen cloud PVR solutions, wherein uh, we can enable commercially viable cloud PVR solutions uh, which are cost effective in terms of storage and can actually distribute content uh, both in HD and in Ultra HD. Again, on show today. Lastly, it also means uh, the possibility to expand dramatically the reach uh, of high quality IPTV and OTT services. And this is true for developed countries and also for emerging countries where in some countries, uh, the higher reach that is achievable with Perseus increases the potential market for those services by up to an order of magnitude. So <coughs> what it really means, uh, if we put together all of these benefits that go far beyond just compression, what it really means uh, is that in a certain sense, Perseus is ready for prime time, which is the overarching message of IBC. And so we talk about prime time and we talk about IBC in a sense. Um, <coughs> this IBC is for us the Perseus show. And if we move on and look, um, at NAB we were proud to present to you four solutions with leading partners including Hitachi, Encompass, Visualon, Elber. This IBC, five months later, we are simultaneously showing you <coughs> with an expanded group of partners, 12 Perseus solutions across the show. So um, you'll find a lot of Perseus at IBC with our expanding base of global partners because we're measuring our success on our ability to enable them to do things that they couldn't previously do a half a year ago. Yeah. So with that, we thank you very, very much for coming. Um, we're honored uh, that you're here, that you've come to see us again, and um, looking forward to, to meeting and discussing with you going forward about the many exciting things that are going on.